What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. And with, before I start the video, I just want to say, everyone, thank you guys for supporting me. I'm going to continue to make content. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you like this video, by the end of the video, if you like this video, drop that like. Um, it helps my channel grow. Um, it puts me in the recommendation video. So I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to grow on this channel and give you guys content and report news for you guys. Um, but with all that being said, guys, I'm going to report a new story for you guys. Tyler Huntley. Um, this is a new star being born. You know, every year is always going to be that one player that makes, you know, make a noise for himself. And um, it's looking like, you know, he had a really good game against the Packers. And a lot of us is kind of, you know, looking our way. And there's a lot, I'm sure a lot of GMs, a lot of teams across the league, you know, watched that game. And it was like, you know, we got to see what's up with this Tyler Huntley guy. <laughs> um, you know, this is like a Lamar Jackson 2.0. But with that being said, guys, I mean, we'll just talk about him, you know, in his game against the Packers. So he completed 70% of his passes. He threw for 215 yards, two touchdowns, zero interception with a QBR ratio of 99.5. So he played solid, you know, even though, you know, the Packers came out with the victory. Um, it was it was a hard fought game. And um, I guess the biggest question is, who is Tyler Huntley? Right. <laughs> you know, uh, not, you know, he hasn't. Um, been a vocal name throughout college or when he was drafted. Um, you know, this guy was, was actually undrafted. And, um, um, you know, just looking at, you know, throughout his, his college career. So he played four years at Utah. He played it in the Pac-12. Um, you know, when you really look at it, I mean, he didn't have the greatest college career. And that's probably why he went undrafted. But overall, um, throughout his career at Utah, um, he has 574 completions. Um, he passed for 7,351 yards. 46 interceptions and 20 interceptions um, with a QBR ratio of 152.6. So it's looking like, you know, throughout his college career, you can kind of see why, you know, he didn't get drafted. But, um, you know, he drafted in 2020. Um, he was the fourth quarterback for the Ravens. And throughout that time period, it just seems like he practiced with the team and got better and better. And he just became this, the number two backup for this team. And, you know, it just seems like he worked his way up to get to where he's at. And, I mean, and last night, like I said, I mean, one takeaway I would really say is, is his poise, um, his confidence. You know, it didn't look like he was playing scared. It looked like he was reading his checkdowns. He seemed focused. And I just loved how he just kept connecting with Mark Andrews because, you know, he was their best player last night and he utilized them, to, you know, to his full capacity. And that's what you have to do as as a quarterback. You know, you have to go with the high hand and. Um, you know, Mark Andrews, you know, he had 10 receptions for 136 yards. He averaged 13.6 yards um, per per catch. And it just seems like every play he was throwing to Mark Andrews was was golden plays. I mean, two of them were touchdowns. And a lot of our, a lot of us that are fantasy owners, I mean, we were happy. I was like, wow, Andrews, you know, he might pull out this victory for me this week. And, um, you know, it was just really cool to see, um, you know, that connection because it was exciting. You know, there were good throws and. Um, you know, one thing about Huntley is, you know, you could look at him and say he's a runner. Um, I don't know if you guys caught that that nice run against the Browns, but, you know, this guy can be shifty. Um, you know, he has some speed to him. His acceleration is really, really good. Um, but one thing I really respect about him is, like I said, I mean, he has a decent arm, but well, he has a damn good arm. But, um, you know, just his mobility is not like, you know, last night he was like, you know what, I'm just going to use my legs to win this. You know, he's a guy that looks like, you know, I want to win this football game with throwing with my arm. And I just like that mentality. And um, he looks like he's going to be a dynamic player. And, um, you know, this guy looks like, you know, he you can fit him into an offense if, if a certain of other teams. I mean, cause I'm sure a lot of executives, a lot of GMs seen that game. And I know he's on a lot of people radars. You know, I, I'm going to mention possibly some other teams um, in a little bit to, you know, what are teams that he can possibly go towards or, um, you know, what, what are some good destinations for him as far as next year goes. But, um, you know, Tyler Huntley, you know, like I said, he's a guy that looks like you know, he wants to be a pocket quarterback. He wants to, you know, throw the football more so than use his legs. And I'm sure he understands that. And, um, you know, depending on if Lamar Jackson comes back um, on how healthy he is with his ankle, um, you know, Tyler Huntley might get another game where he might showcase his talents. And, um, you know, one thing about Tyler Huntley is, you know, he has, I don't want to say he has no shot to ever be a starter for the Ravens, but um, but for me, you know, Lamar Jackson, he's the franchise quarterback, and I don't think he's ever going to be the number one. So, the, but this opportunity is good for him because 
Tyler Huntley, he can find a home in a franchise with another organization. You know, some players, you know, it's almost like basketball. When you look at basketball players, garbage time, garbage time ain't garbage time. You know what I'm saying? Garbage time is for players to, you know, make an impact and, and show their coaching staff or show other teams like, you know, that you have skills. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing with Tyler Huntley is, you know, he's going to just prove himself that he can be an NFL quarterback and not just be a mobile quarterback. And I definitely think he's going to get a contract for, you know, multiple teams, uh, depending on what, uh, you know, the Ravens want to do with him. But, um, you know, off the top of my head, I think the Houston Texans, I think he can fit that offense, um, you know, maybe throwing him in with some wildcat, some uh, read option plays. Um, he definitely is that dynamic type of player. You know, he's definitely similar to Lamar Jackson. And, uh, you know, the Texans, I would say the Dolphins can be, uh, you know, a potential place for him. Um yeah, I mean, Minnesota, I think, would be a, a good place for him as well. But um, with that being said, guys, I mean, you know, this is this is a guy that seems like, um, you know, he's focused and he really wants to, you know, do something big with his career, you know, and he just has one of those stories. You know, a lot of players that go undrafted, those are the players that have like the most heart. Those are usually the players that grind the hardest because they have so much to prove and. Um, you know, just congrats on him to even be the number two, you know, quarterback playing for the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, that's a big deal when you're a backup, you know, quarterback for an organization like the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I don't want to stretch out this video too, too long. But, um, you know, Tyler Huntley, you know, this is a guy that it looks like, you know, he's definitely going to, um, you know, he's definitely going to have some type of spotlight on him. Uh, maybe throughout free agency in the summertime. You know, I know maybe some teams might look towards his way. And so with that being said, guys, I just... I want to kind of wrap this up. I don't want to make this too long, but I want to hear your guys' opinion on uh, Tyler Huntley and uh, tell me if you guys, uh, what teams do you think he will be really a uh, good fit for? You know, let me guys, let me know in the, in the description below. With that being said, guys, have a good one. Peace. Be safe, guys. All right. Peace out.